Malawi has a huge problem with these little blue plastic bags. They're literally everywhere. Everywhere you go in Malawi, you'll see these littering the place. You see, like, uh, these plastic bags which we have here, it's with the people who come to sell at the market on Thursdays. This area had the problem of uh, people, they don't have a place where to dump their waste, and uh, the big problem is the plastic bags which people use when they buy things from the market, or maybe they buy fish or uh, small fishes like Osipa. They just buy in the small plastic bags and they throw it anywhere. But what I know is the plastic bags, they take uh, almost a hundred years for them to rot. So this is a very, a very big problem to our environment. And for example, in Tanzania, when I was in Dar es Salaam, in Dar es Salaam, they've banned completely the use of any plastic bags. Their alternative is maybe they wrap the things in the newspapers and other things. So this thing is, can still apply here in Malawi and especially here in Katkande, where we want to make our market, our trading center and our village a free uh, market from all plastic bags and from all litter as long as we villagers and the leaders of the village can come together and work hand in hand, we can do it. It's good to use uh, just the papers, not plastic papers. Yeah. Arthur, you've been um, talking to everybody here. Yes. Uh, do you feel that everybody here is keen to stop using plastic bags? It's very, very keen. Everyone is ready to stop using plastic bags. And uh, so Moya and Candy will be the start of this in, in Malawi. They will be the example for the whole country of Malawi. That's exactly what we want. And we are very proud of that. Let's take Zimbabwe. So what we find there, in fact we buy there, are paper bags. And those paper bags are being manufactured from the factories. Now, our government has started talking about this almost two, three years now. But nothing is happening. I understand that the, the government wants to ban the, the bags, yes. but the producers have um, put an injunction to stop that so that they can still continue. And while that's in place, the government can't stop them, which is why we need communities like this to take the matter into their own hands so that they can um, stop using the bags here and then the next community can stop using bags. And then this can show the government that the people of this country yes. want to stop plastic bags and to use paper bags in future. Yes, yes, this is what I'm saying. And if we can do this, I think it'll work. And I think what we should do is encourage the, the suppliers of the plastic bags yes. to start supplying paper bags. Yes, yes. And that would be much better.